Hey what's up guys, Scamfeef here and welcome to this FIFA 16 Daniel Sturridge review. Just before we do get into this review guys, in the comments below let me know which other players you'd like to see me review because now the rugby season is pretty much over for my team and um, I've got plenty of free time now so hopefully there'll be a lot more FIFA 16 content for you guys. Also if you could leave a like on this video that would be very much appreciated as always, let's get into this review. So back onto the review, looking at the card then we have 89 pace, 81 dribbling, 83 shooting and 70 physical, some very nice attributes but then you look on his card. He's only got a two star weak foot and that is a bit of a pain in the ass if I'm fully honest. As it does kind of limit him but we'll talk about that more soon. Let's have a look at some of the stats. We've got 73 strength which is a very nice attribute for a fast striker to have. The fact that he's fast and strong. 81 ball control, 85 finishing, 84 dribbling, very very nice and 83 shot power as well. He has a decent short passing attribute as well which is good for link up play and stuff like that. But um, once again we come back to that two star weak foot. He is great on his left foot, his shooting's good, his passing's decent, but on his right foot, all of that goes out the window because his right foot really does let him down. Now, one thing I just want to touch on quickly is that injury prone trait. Now, this might just be a coincidence, it might just be me, but in four of the nine games I played, Sturridge pulled up injured, so um, yeah, just going to point that out, just so you know, but um, don't be surprised if it gets injured for you, but as I say, it, just could, it could be a coincidence, it might just have been happening to me. Anyway guys, let's get into some clips and see how Sturridge plays. He makes some great runs, his positioning is awesome and I definitely like that about him. The fact that he can get into those positions which makes it easier to finish with him. But um, when you want to finish with him, when you need him to be clinical, you definitely need to move the ball onto his left foot because his left foot is so much better than his right foot, his right foot will let you down. Saying that, if you do feel that Sturridge has the ball at the wrong side of his feet, try and get the outside the foot shot away because the outside the foot shot for me is freaking OP, especially for long shots, so you can definitely make some use of that. Moving on from the shooting, there was no issues with his dribbling to be honest, his agility is pretty good, so um, yeah, it does feel pretty quick on the ball. When it comes to stuff like passing, as I said earlier in the video, as long as you keep it on his left foot, you won't have too many problems, he's got a good bit of short passing about him, so he is pretty good for link up play. And now let's just quickly talk about his physical attributes. Now Sturridge, for someone who's quick, has a good bit of strength about him, but he is let down at times by his balance and he will be knocked to the floor by stronger defenders, so that is something you've got to watch out for. But on the positive side, you've got a quick player in Sturridge, so he can manoeuvre around his defenders fairly easily, and obviously he does have good agility to help him out in that situation. So let's summarise this FIFA 16 Daniel Sturridge card, and I've got to say I enjoyed it. Great striker with a good bit of pace and a good bit of strength, does battle quite well, and he can finish very well. With his left foot, which brings me on to the main downfall about this guy, that two-star weak foot I feel affects him a lot. It does limit him a lot, especially when it comes to shooting. You, if you want to get a good, accurate strike away, a very good, powerful, accurate strike, you've most of the time got to take it on that left foot, which um, does limit him quite a bit, which is obviously very frustrating. But on the positive side of things, Sturridge's positioning is great. He's very quick on the ball, and if you do get it onto that left foot, you can definitely put the ball in the back of the net. So overall, guys, I'm going to give Daniel Sturridge's FIFA 16 card an 8.7 out of 10. A card that you will definitely enjoy, but you've got to keep that ball on his left foot if you want to have the most success with him. Anywho, that is my review of FIFA 16 Daniel Sturridge. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, please remember to leave a like, comment below which player you'd like me to review next. Have a very good day. Adios.